Article 15 is one of the bravest attempts to talk about the casteism that still plagues rural India. The director Anubhav Sinha sincerely crafted a mystery crime drama out of some horrific true events. In the beginning of the movie, there is two songs, one sung by the Dalit group talking about the current state of their living, the differences between their homes, education, and even water usage, titled Kahapto, and the other song was Blowing in the Wind by Bob Dylan that plays at the introduction of our protagonist. In this video, let's go through the lyrics of the song and decode the symbolism and the social commentary that makes this movie so great. Our protagonist, Ayan, has been transferred to a countryside village named Lalgaon. He has a very different perspective about India, which is far from reality. Upon encountering several discrimination incidents, he frequently discusses all this with his wife, Aditi. So make hero chahiye, Aditi. Hero nahin chahiye, Ayan. Bas aise log chahiye, jo hero ka wait na kare. The lyrics resonates with his feeling he thinks the villagers needs a heroic figure, a man who will stood up for the oppressed people. But Ayan is confused. What should he do to make a difference? What path he must take? What more he can do to be that man? And right then and there, Aditi snaps him out of it and give a reality check that they doesn't need a hero. All they need is a man who is willing to walk down the road of justice. Women in general become victims of discrimination and in such casteism, it's even worse. Little pure souls that just want a better life. They do all the hard work they possibly can or let's just say they are allowed to do to sail their boats. They obey all the regulations. They endure all the atrocities. But still, if they raise their voice by a decibel, the fury of the oppressors ensues. The lyrics raise a valid point that what more these girls should go through. The seas of discrimination, intolerance, prejudice, and filth they must voyage before she sleeps in peace and leave her life of freedom and self-respect. Yes. The movie also criticizes the people that are in the legal system who promotes such discrimination. By the help of Reservation Act, we got people from all class and caste in the system. But still, the divide remains unchanged. The police themselves shows prejudice within their own ranks. So obviously, they will turn their head from the society by saying, don't disrupt the balance. The lyrics questions every individual who take part in this and those who are silent and pretend that he just doesn't see. And when someone tries to get out of it, others pulls his legs and tries to bring him to their level to maintain the so-called balance in the society. The village Lalgaon itself acts like a character. The atmospheric, dark and greedy surroundings adds a layer of mystery and restlessness. The lyrics almost sarcastically answers the questions that this movie is asking from the very beginning. The regressive culture that is omnipresent in the society, the corruption that flows like fog and mist, the prejudice mindset that is suffocating the people in the village. It is blowing in the wind that we all inhale. The answers lies in front of us and surrounding us. It's not just in the rural part of India, it's in our household. My driver is saying that shadow is allowed. Then you will cast down. What is it? It's our behavior towards other people that are not that privileged, nor they belong to an upper class structure. The answer, my friend, is you, me, all of us.
so that's it for today guys hope you like the video do subscribe that will motivate me a lot and check out these videos for more awesome content i will see you in the next video till then jai hind